Roses and welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry guys, by the way, that I've been gone for a couple months now. It's just, I don't know what happened. I got in a funk with making videos and editing and then also I started getting into an art funk too. So, I don't know. I don't have any other excuses. It's just that's been it. And also I've been traveling, but I feel like that kind of helped me get back to where I am now. So, I'm back for now. Who knows how long? We'll see. <laughs> but anyways, so today I basically wanted to do a paint with me video. So grab your paints, grab whatever art materials you want to do, and let's do something together. Or you could just enjoy the video and have a nice cup of coffee or tea or water. I don't know. You do you. But <laughs> yeah. So anyways, um, today I'm painting a landscape painting with a kind of like cabin-y kind of forest vibe going on here. I mean, that's really just what it is, it's not really a vibe, it's just, it's there. Um, I'm gonna be showing you a photo in a moment or two, but um, yeah. So that's what I'm using, it's from Pinterest. I'll put a link down below as well if you guys wanna try it out. I'm planning on posting like, I don't know how it is, like on Pinterest, so, like if you try a pin and you add, oh yeah, so you can add a photo, show what you, if you drew it. Cause some people do that and I love it when people do that and they share what their, I guess what their, what is a way to word it? I guess their take on the photo? I don't know, I thought it was really cool. But anyways, I digress. Um, oh, uh, just to point out, I am using that new paintbrush I just got in the last video, I think it was, with the haul video. It's the Pro Art Proline Plus, it's a round brush, size 10. I honestly thought it was gonna be too big for traveling but it actually is pretty for perfect <laughs> pretty perfect um my only thing is i would want to get like a smaller size round brush just because um later on in this video you'll see that i'm using a like actually one of the ikea's the, the smallest brush they have of the ikea brushes and yes i said ikea brushes and do not hate yet you should try them out they're pretty dang awesome in my opinion i actually do a video with them later on i'm gonna I need to tackle it because it's such a long video, but I was able to make a really awesome painting with it, with them actually, because I used three brushes and they're like three sound, uh, I can't speak today. I'm bad. <laughs> Anyways, so I have, they're like three round brushes that they have. I honestly don't like the flat brushes that they give. I think they're more for crafting kind of stuff, painting. While these ones, I honestly, they're really nice. Like they hold their point, they're very like in the the other sizes are very thick and they just make they leave nice paint strokes, I guess, in my opinion. I don't know. That's just how I am. You'll see in the video whenever that comes. <laughs> but yeah. And like they're perfect travel size because they're like five and a half inches, which is perfect for me. So I ain't mad, but later on I do want to get the same um, retractable kind of brush, like style because I just like the fact that they're protected like the brush end is protected because it's like encapsulated and stuff but I mean that's just me um I'll let you guys know if I do end up getting one <laughs> but yeah also if you guys are curious I am planning to put the colors I use down below just um either I might put a link to them I don't know yet but I'll at least list them out for you, what colors I used and what brand they were, just in case you guys were curious and you see something you really like. But yeah, to go more on art block. So for me, what I do when I have an art block, I take an unnecessarily amount of time off when I really shouldn't take that long. I could, it's, it's okay to take a break, not to take a month long break. Cause I did take a month long break and then I went back to painting for a bit. I just wasn't active on social media as much and everything else, you know? Um, but basically when I go back to it, it's always landscape paintings. I have like, this is my second notebook of this four and a half by six inch um, sketchbook that I made. This is my second one. The other one's like halfway, more than halfway done. I just need to fill it up basically. But every now and then when I'm feeling like kind of in a rut, I'll go back to these sketchbooks and I'll go look up something on in Pinterest or anywhere and paint something just paint a landscape really usually it's landscapes uh but like i or just do studies like last month i think i did a lot of bear studies 
think it was one month or two months ago, but yeah, I was going crazy over bears, <laughs> which I am very thankful for because now I'm a lot better at drawing bears. I just need to figure out more positions, I feel like, because I feel like I keep doing the same ones. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I keep going back to landscapes. I think it's just because it's something I started off with in the beginning of it all. Like, I don't remember how old I was, but I know when I first started painting with acrylics, I started with landscapes and I really enjoyed it and it just feels like a safe place for me, you know? Um, another safe place would be like people, but I'm not very comfortable with painting people yet, like as much as I'd like to say I am. Um, it's something I really need to work with, so maybe my next study will be that, I don't know. Uh, but really like, I don't know what it is, like why I like painting in these small sketchbooks. I have an actually a bigger one and it's like nine and a half inches by eight inches and I don't know it's a bit much for me like I don't know about you guys like I like smaller tech uh, sketchbooks um, I like doing smaller drawings to be honest before I start going into anything bigger it just that's just how I am uh, it's just, uh, I feel like there's more pressure when you have a bigger piece of paper, I guess, a bigger page to draw on, because I feel like you have to fill it up. Like, that's what I think when I see a big blank page. I feel like I need to fill it up, but with, like, the smaller one, it's just, like, I don't feel that pressure. Plus, I can be more sketchy with it. I don't feel like there's a lot of pressure on me for it to look good, because when you scale it out, it, you could see a lot of details, you know what I mean? A lot of things that don't look right sometimes. At least with me, that's how I kind of nitpick my stuff when I look at my bigger sketchbooks. I'm like, oh, I should have put more detail on that. Oh, that looks kind of off, like it's not up to scale. As you can tell, I tend to overthink things a lot, especially when it comes to painting. Like, I honestly, I feel like if I just sketch it out more, I don't just jump the gun. I do the color studies and I really practice it'll be fine. But at the same time, for me, I'm the kind of person that I can't do it too much, like too much planning, or I kind of put so much pressure on myself that, oh, it's okay, I plan it all, I sh it should be good, right? So it's like, it's also that mindset that I need to get out of, you know? Anyways, before I blabber on anymore, I'm just gonna leave it on the music and let you enjoy. Um, I do want to ask you guys, so what do you guys do when you have an art block? Like, what is your go-to? Since my go-to is landscapes and taking unnecessary long breaks, <laughs> what is your go-to, guys?
putting the band back together. Again. No way. We're on a mission from God. guys so this is the finished piece thank you so much for hanging out with me um if you did um paint or create anything please uh tag me on instagram at xme bear i would love to see what you guys did and also if you guys want more videos like this let me know i'm planning on maybe doing a flip through when i'm done or doing more videos of me painting in these little sketchbooks of mine and just having nice little talks with you guys I'm sorry if I talk too much, I just really wanted us to hang out and whatever. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!